What's going on guys? We are back again with another SoCal Sense fragrance video. I'm Luke. I'm Jeff. And today we are going to be going over our favorite casual, ultra casual fragrances. Yeah, and this was a subscriber choice. Uh, nice. They said it would be a good topic and so we were like, yeah, that is a good topic. So it's like yeah. sweatshirt vibes, yeah. t-shirt, shorts, just like running errands, just kind of bumming around. Yeah, lounging, lounge yeah, wear. Lounge, <laughs> lounge wear. So right. we'll go, these are 10. Yeah. Uh, we use 10 different brands because we want to highlight a bunch of different fragrances. Yeah. And these are ones that we tend to have been wearing a lot. Cool. Bumming around. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. All right, I'll go first. So my first one is actually a Gucci Guilty Black. Uh, I've known about this smell for a long time, but I recently picked up a bottle because I wanted to have it in the collection. And I've actually been wearing this a lot. And it's yeah. the perfect like mix of green meets a blue fragrance. I feel like it kind of mashes in the middle. It's easy to wear, it smells good. People around you are gonna think you smell good. And you can just give yourself a, an eight, nine, 10 spray, not think about it, smell good, be casual, and do well. So I really like Gucci Guilty Black for this. Cool. So my first pick is actually uh, Mont Blanc Legend. This is the original as well. I rock spirit heavy for you know the past few years, but I've just been going going back to this. It doesn't last very long, but again with the casual fragrance that you're just running to the store with, you know, really quick, um, doesn't need to last that long. And, and that's, if you're yeah. spraying your hoodie or your shirt, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's kind of why I like it. But yeah. again, this is a nice, clean. Uh, it's like a like a slightly spicy body wash. You know, it has like it's like a sexy body wash, I would say, but very clean, very inoffensive, and. Um, it's really cool. It's it's really good. It's a classic, but uh, yeah, this is uh, my go-to recently. <laughs> and my go-to recently happens to be one of my newest purchases, which is Tommy Them or Tommy Now Them. Oh. It's a unisex fragrance by Tommy Hilfiger. And if you know the Tommy line, Tommy doesn't smell like anything else, and yeah. the only thing that smells close to it is other Tommy fragrances. This is a citrusy floral. Tommy vibe. Um, it's really nice, it's really long lasting, and it works good for guys, it works good for girls. It's just like the most inoffensive, like, it smells good. I've probably worn this like 30 times in the last like month and a half since I've had this, yeah. and I like it, so. Yeah, very interesting. Story. Yeah. Very unique, yeah. Cool. Alrighty. My next pick is, uh, is a fragrance we go over a lot on this channel. This is, you know, Chanel's Alorum Sport. Oh, extreme. Um, this actually has really good performance, um, surprisingly for being so fresh and inoffensive. Um, it does garner a lot of compliments. Um, for me, it's very like very low key, um, not very flashy, but it does get a lot of compliments from people around you. Even yeah. if you know, I go nose blind to it pretty quick, but I feel like people around you notice it. Um, yeah, in the yeah. last two years, that's my most complimented fragrance. Just yeah. wearing it out and about. Yeah, it's surprisingly like a big compliment, you know, king. So. And I feel like with that one too, you can spray heavy on it. Yeah. And not even feel bad. Like you can give yourself a 10, 12 spray. Yeah. Yeah. And just still not smell offensive. Like yeah. you're over spraying or anything. Yeah, totally. So, Chanel Aloro Sport O Extreme. My next one is Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. What I like about this one is Luke's actually wearing it right now. Um, it's fresh. It reminds me of freshly fallen snow, which is what their ad thing says about it. Um, but it really does. It's very cooling yeah, to, very cool. to smell. Um, perfect for spring, but if you're just bumming around, like you could easily just douse yourself in this, feel good, yeah. go run some errands, and it's perfect for that hoodie vibe. Yeah, definitely. And if I was like, give your hoodie to like your girlfriend or something, they're gonna think you smell really, really good. Yeah. Um, it's nice and fresh. It's definitely. like, it's my favorite from the Bulgari yeah. man line probably. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Yeah, so, cool. Glacial Essence. Cool. And this is actually a uh, fragrance I got for Christmas. This is Ferragamo by Ferragamo. Um, this is very cool. Um, I only have, I mean, what Ferragamos do we wear at the moment? Um, we have F Black. F Black. We have, I, I mean, it's my gym scent most yeah. of the time. Is uh, the uh, um, Ferragamo. Aquamara? Or no, it, it's not Aquamara. It is, um, 
Aqua Essentia. Aqua Essentia, yeah. Yeah, I wear that one a lot. Yeah, I feel like they haven't had like a new like. I mean, those are like dope, but I feel like they're a little older. So yeah. This is like a, a brand new one from them that is honestly really dope, but I've been wearing it a lot, and I feel like yeah, they haven't put out something that I really liked this much in a long time. Um, but yeah, definitely very cool, but definitely you know casual. Um, but yeah, it's still. You know, it's still sexy and it still has, I would say it's a little flashier than per se like Orem Sport or you know, Mont Blanc Legend, um, but still casual enough um, where it's not, like you don't have to be dressed yeah. up to, to be smelling good. And these have all been grab and go fragrances where yeah. like yeah. you can kind of wear them any occasion and still yeah. smell really good. Um, that one reminds me of like a peppery version of Fierce. Yeah, definitely. I was going to say it's like a tone, super toned down Sauvage. Like, as far as like the vibe, yeah, it's like not different smells grabbing you. Yeah, different smells. Yeah, but that essence, yeah, peppery. That's perfect. And that's another one you can spray heavy and not really think too hard about it. Yeah, and sometimes that's the best way was just spraying your clothes. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, Ferragamo by Ferragamo. Good to see them back with another banger. And my next one that I'm going to talk about is Aqua de Gio, uh, Absolute. It's our favorite of the Aqua de Gio series because it is the only one that doesn't smell like Geo. Because <laughs> um, Geo is the most purchased fragrance in the history of fragrances. Mm -hmm. And because of that, that's the one you're most likely to smell on somebody. And this one doesn't smell anything like it, so that's why we always recommend the Absolute version over anything. What you get is a sweet, fruity, fresh bubblegum vibe, and it has a sexy, woody dry down. So this is like a perfect summer date night fragrance, but also it's one of those ones where you're, you're just gonna smell good the whole time you're wearing it. Yeah. Spray the hoodie down, spray your t-shirt down, go go to the grocery store, go to the mall, go on a date. You're gonna smell good no matter the occasion. So it's a good bummy fragrance. Yeah, yeah. very nice, absolutely. Um, and then my next pick is uh, Jaguar Pace. This is a fragrance that actually Jeff put me onto. Um, again, this is another like shower gel with a little bit of spice to it. Um, super, you know, good for just, you know, grabbing it, going to the grocery store type vibe. Um, yeah, I super, like at first I didn't love it, but it's honestly growing on me more and more. Um, very cool. I think, what is it? 10 bucks, 20 bucks? Pick yeah, it up online. It's under 20 bucks. Yeah, super affordable. Um, but yeah, again, it's like a little, you know, sexy body wash vibe. And that's really what it is. It's a sexy body <laughs> yeah, wash. Yeah, there's not much crazy to it. Um, cool. To bottle. me, that's like the perfect example of hopping out of the shower, spray it on, and you're gonna smell like you just hopped out of the shower all day. Yeah, and it's a cool little bottle, you know? It's so got, you know, the Jaguar emblem on it. Jaguar. Yeah, so it's cool, it's, you know, I think this is the only uh, car fragrance as well yeah. so, that we have in this list. Yeah, <laughs> Jaguar face. And uh, my last one of the bummy, lounging, lounging casual, casual <laughs> sweatshirt vibe is actually one I, have gone through two bottles of in my yeah. life is Lacoste Blanc. Um, what I like about uh, Lacoste White 1212 is it just smells nice and clean and fresh. Yeah. And it does suit more towards warmer weather, but when you're spraying your clothes and you're just bumming around, you can't really beat this one if you're indoors. Um, it's just nice, fresh, clean to me. It's a very like white floral citrus to me. Luke gets coconut vibes from yeah, it. I got like coconut lotion. suntan lotion summer vibes. I don't get that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> luckily, because I don't like coconuts, but it's it's just a great casual dumb reach fragrance where pretty much if you can't think of what to wear, this has been one of my dumb reaches for years, um, and I wear it all the time still. And yeah, the costs Blanc One Two One Two is a great dumb reach. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty, and my last pick is Valentino, Born in Roma. Um, what's cool about this is actually, um, I wasn't a huge fan of the other Valentino fragrances, but I really like the bottles, and I, I wanted to have a Valentino <laughs> in the collection, to be honest. Um, and this one is just like a nice, like, bubblegummy fragrance. Um, it's very fun. It's like in the Invictus world, you know, with the Invictus uh, Aqua, like that family of just bubblegummy, fresh. Um, yeah, it's, it's very cool. I mean. Look at this bottle, the spikes and the guys, the pink. So like, I guess the bubblegum vibe is there. Yeah, it's very cool, uh, very playful, very youthful. Um, yeah, and I've been just kind of grabbing for it recently. Again, just part of the, you know, the casual fragrances, especially in the- And you wore that a ton this summer. Yeah, yeah, I did grab it a, a nice bit. Um, 
And, and me and Luke love the Born and Roma. Yeah. Um, we don't like the other ones. Yeah, anything the else I don't like. Um, so we're not super big fans of that. And yeah. this one is the most wearable. It's the most easy to just dumb grab straight yeah. on, smell nice. Yeah. And that's what all these are pretty good for, yeah. is no matter which one you pick, you can wear it pretty much any time, yeah. any occasion. It's easy to wear casual. It's easy to wear these dressed up too. Yeah. And you're just gonna smell nice. Yeah, and if it's just been nice. Yeah, and you can overspray every single one of these and still smell pretty good. Definitely. Um, and without choking out the room. Definitely, yeah. But yeah, so those are our 10 fragrances from 10 different houses. Yeah. And for our, our hoodies, thanks for the, the suggestion from our subscribers. Um, be sure to follow us down below. Definitely. Luke, do you got new music? Of course, yeah, I have a new song out right now. Um, you can check out my Spotify, and I have a new song next month coming out. But you can also, you know, follow me and keep, uh, I'll keep you updated on there. And if this video gets 300 likes, we will feature these fragrances with one of our guests, and they can tell you which they like or not. So hit that like button. If we get 300 in the next couple weeks, we'll grab a guest and have them film this video with them. Cool. So thanks. All right, guys. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,